Still reeling from the discovery that Levi is married, Mackenzie vents to Molly over the doctor's refusal to leave his wife. Levi turns up on her doorstep begging for another chance, but Mac is adamant she won't be the other woman and sends him packing. The next morning, Mac confronts Levi at his hotel and tells him she's done, this is goodbye. Cracks are starting to appear in Rose and Molly's relationship as she throws herself into her new role as senior constable. Molly is miffed when Rose bails on their lunch and dinner plans and deliberately declines her offer of coffee the next day. Coming to his senses, Molly leaves his girlfriend a message apologizing for his behavior, but it's clear her promotion is putting pressure on them. Rose is also puzzled as to why Molly is showing such concern for Mac. She probes him on the matter, but he refuses to betray his friend's confidence by exposing her affair with Levi. Later at home, Mac urges Molly not to worry about her and spend more time with Rose, but he declines, saying he can only deal with one crisis at a time. Meanwhile, Rose catches up with Cash and admits she's struggling to cope with her mounting workload. He reassures Rose she's a brilliant cop and needs to stop trying so hard. Grateful for his support, Rose fills Cash in on the Surf Club mystery donor case. He decides he wants to help and tells Rue he's on the case. Irene gives Justin a stern talking to when he continues hanging around the diner hoping to run into Leah. On his way home, Justin can't resist swinging by Alf's, where Leah is staying. When she doesn't answer the door to him Justin decides to wait. Eventually Leah lets Justin in, but is not happy he broke their agreement to give her space. He takes her advice on board by inviting Leah for dinner, which she reluctantly accepts. Theo and Valerie join them for the meal and try their best to defuse any awkwardness. Afterwards, Justin walks Leah home and goes in for a kiss, but she pulls away. Will he regret pushing things too far? Theo apologizes to Valerie for making her uncomfortable by prying into her family background. Later, Valerie opens up to Theo, revealing how she was involved in a terrible car crash that claimed her brother's life. Valerie explains her parents blamed her for the incident and haven't spoken to her since her sibling's death, hence why she ended up in a mental health facility. Leah pays Justin a visit at the garage and asks where he sees their relationship going. His answer is simple, he wants them to get back together and for Leah to return home, but only when she's ready. The estranged couple take a walk together and Leah feels comfortable enough to give Justin a kiss, leaving him feeling hopeful for the future. As Cash starts investigating the mysterious surf club donation, eager Dana fills him in about Simon Henderson and his retracted sponsorship. Cash is thankful for her assistance, but Dana's hopes of becoming his sidekick are dashed when the former cop tells her he'll take it from there. Felicity is delighted for Cash that he's getting so stuck into his new job. He questions his sister about an exchange he witnessed between her and Xander, which forces Felicity to admit she slept with Tane. Cash fears she might be harboring false hope of a reunion, but Felicity insists her and Tane are done and dusted. Remy returns home to continue his recovery but makes out to breathe that he's still in hospital. Remy explains he doesn't want his girlfriend worrying about him, but Kirby isn't comfortable about lying to her. After pushing himself too hard and exhausted Remy ends up on the bathroom floor, which forces Eden to make a call to Levi for help. Meanwhile, Levi is unable to resist temptation as he heads to Salt in the hope of seeing Mac. As sparks fly between the forbidden lovers, they return to Levi's hotel room and start tearing each other's clothes off. They're interrupted by a call from Levi's wife, but this time they ignore it and carry on. Harper is down in the dumps after discovering her former fiancé has a baby with his new partner. Dana attempts to lift her sister's spirits with a cocktail and the pair revisit the story of how Harper left her ex at the altar. Harper concedes he deserves to move on with his life but admits she feels down about not having someone special to share her life with. 